Hello, welcome class to our second lesson of topic number eight, where the topic is uh, company directors. In this second topic, uh, second lesson, I want to discuss the duties. I want to discuss the duties of uh, directors. And in particular regard, I want to look at the duty, the duty of care and skill under common law. And I will also look at the equitable duties or the fiduciary duties of directors. Now these equitable duties are as a result of the, the fiduciary relationship or the fiduciary position of a director. I will also look at the powers the powers exercised by the company directors. I will then look at the removal, removal of directors, the removal of directors from office. Then I will want to look at the rule in Taquan's case. I will also look at the rule in Taquan's case. Then uh, I can conclude by looking at uh, investor protection where I will give particular attention to insider dealing. I will be giving particular attention to insider dealing. So class, this is the matters that I want to discuss as far as this topic number two is concerned. So let me begin where I must. And these are the director's duties the director's duties. Now, the director's duties are broadly put into two categories. That is the duty of care and skill. And then we have the fiduciary duties. Uh, this is in addition to all those other general duties that the directors will have, such as ensuring the financial success of the company, taking care of the company's assets, etc., uh, etc. Et we have this broad categorization of the director's duties as into the director's duty of care and skill and the director's uh, equitable duties. Now, something that I want to point out from the very onset uh, in regard to these two categories of the director's duties, the first category of duties is described as being very lax. It is very relaxed suggesting uh, that there are no consequences for the director's breach uh, of duties possibly, that the directors will be expected to do very little as far as uh, running or the managing of the company is concerned. Then in the second category of duties, which are the equitable duties, we have a very strict regime. We have a very strict uh, expectation on the part of the directors that there will be strict consequences for the director's non-compliance, for the directors not discharging their equitable duties to the company. Now, let us look at this, the duty of care and skill. The director's duty of care and skill. The director's duty of care and skill. Now, this is a common law duty which requires that the director in the performance of their obligations, they should show skillfulness, they should show carefulness, they should be diligent, that the company should not suffer as a result of their carelessness, as the result of their unskillfulness, that the director should be a diligent director. But the question is, to what extent should this director be careful? To what extent should this director show skillfulness? Now, courts have set the standard as far as this duty of care and skill is concerned. Uh, in Re City Equitable Fire, Roma J is making reference to the expectations of uh, the law as far as the duty of care and skill is concerned. And as we shall notice, the standard being set is low. We are describing these duties as lax. For instance, we're saying the director, the director is not, is not expected, the director is not expected to exhibit, is not ex ex expected to exhibit more care and skill, more care and skill 
than that of a person than that of a person of his qualification than that of a person of his qualification and we have reference to this case the re uh, brazilian the re brazilian rubber plantations and estates uh, limited the re brazilian rubber plantations and estates limited so this is what the court is suggesting that in your position as a director we shall not require you to exhibit to show more skill and diligence than is expected of a person of your own qualifications so that if your ex experience runs to just two months of experience as a director then the expectations on your part will just be that of a two year experienced director if you have no if this is a company in the telecommunications industry or engineering and you have zero experience in engineering then to what extent shall we expect you to be knowledgeable and skillful in engineering to that extent of a person with no knowledge as far as engineering is concerned so it pretty says if you have no experience in uh, matters relating to engineering then we don't expect you to be skillful we expect you to show zero skill zero diligence on matters engineering in brazilian rubber plantations we had um, incapacitated directors who caused their company losses by purchasing uh, rubber plantations that were not mature and the question was were these directors responsible were these directors liable for the loss caused as a result of not being careful and skillful in their selections and the court says we cannot require them to show more skill and care than is expected of a person of their skill so again that goes on to show how lax this duty is as far as the director's requirement is concerned number two standard set for this duty of care and skill is that uh, the director's duties the director's duties are of an intermittent are of an intermittent meaning broken nature to be attended to to be attended to during such uh, meetings of the board during such meetings of the board if circumstances if circumstances if circumstances allow if circumstances allow and we are making reference to the marquis of butes case So again we have another standard here being set for the director's duty of care in respect to how committed should the director be as far as the running of the company's affairs are concerned and the direction of the court here is the director's responsibilities are not of a continuous nature the director is not to be a director in the morning in the midday in the evening and at night they are only a director during such board meetings and such other committees of the board that the director happens to be so their functions their commitment is only to be seen during such times as when we have board meetings and not just all board meetings it is only in those board meetings that circumstances are allowing this director to be present we have a case here where a director was absent from board meetings for a whole 38 years during which period a lot of uh, irregularities had happened and the question was was the director responsible for such uh, omissions and actions during their absence and the court says they are not that the expectation is that is not that they should be always there that they should only be there during such board meetings that circumstances allow them to be present again it is testimony to how lax how relaxed these duties are as to how inconsequential this duty is being explained to be the third standard in relation to this duty of care and skill is that directors directors are allowed are allowed to rely to rely on 
information to rely on information to rely on information provided to rely on information provided by uh, their trusted by their trusted servants or trusted employees and we have Dovi versus Cory for reference where we have a managing director who relied on misleading information that was provided by the accountant. And the question was, was the director uh, in breach of duty for not questioning, for not interrogating the information provided by the accountant? And the court says, no, that directors are allowed. Directors are expected to rely on such information provided by their trusted servants. But the director did not go a step further to verify any information they are receiving from their trusted servants. After all, these servants are trusted. After all, these servants have been employed to provide such information. After all, these servants have always provided good information. So that in such cases, we lift off the directors the responsibility to vet any information that is received uh, by them from their trusted employees. So. This is the extent of the relaxed, uh, laxed standard that is set by courts of law as far as the exercise of the director's duty of care and skill is concerned. I now want to discuss the equitable duties of directors.